AFL Tribunal tonight. Yes, including me, Sammy. Yes, yeah. the hearing's been going for about two hours and 45 minutes and it started with the Collingwood Vice Captain Braden Maynard pleading not guilty and challenging the grading of careless conduct. He gave evidence that in no way could he have cushioned the impact. The AFL's position is that Maynard's conduct, conduct was unreasonable. Earlier today, his brother Hamish Brayshaw said he couldn't even rule out that his brother may not retire after being knocked out again. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I th it's not a decision that he'll take lightly. Um, there's a lot that's happening with, with him and, and Danielle, his, his wife, uh, fiance, fiance, soon to be wife, and that side of their family. And concussion's a big thing for them, and obviously he's had his troubles with it. So if it does end up being that he stops playing, then that wouldn't surprise me at all. And we'll have full coverage of the findings at six with Ryan Daniels from Burswood and a key pillar in one of the new Eagles football department is now in place with the Western Bulldogs high performance manager, Dr Matthew Innes, joining West Coast. And last night, East Perth midfielder Hamish Brayshaw, who you saw, the younger brother Angus, was crowned this year's Sandover medalist as well. He's the best player in the waffle. Here's Anna. Good afternoon. Well, it was a special night for Hamish Brayshaw, who was still pinching himself this morning after being crowned the Sandover medalist for 2023. He's the first player from East Perth to win the prestigious award in 22 years. The former Eagles midfielder polled 26 votes following an impressive season for the Royals, where he averaged 26 disposals been living in WA now for about six years and uh, as soon as I came over here this was the pinnacle of um, WA football for, for me and um, having been on an AFL list but not played a lot it was Waffle was my football and um, it has been a, and will be until I, until I stop playing and it's a, yeah, a massive honour. Brayshaw says he has been embraced by his famous footy family including his brother Fremantle star Andy Brayshaw. Uh, he was very very proud of me um, it was it was nice he came running over and texted me saying where are you and he, he came across from um, his dinner at Nobu and it was, it was really special. I mean I've obviously marvelled at the things that he's done and, and his achievements have, have been well documented and I've been very happy and proud of his success and uh, the way that yeah he embraced me and was happy for this is um, yeah it made, made me feel really special. Brayshaw gave an update on his brother Angus who has been dealing with concussion symptoms following last week's clash with the Pies. He's doing okay. He, um, he was at the club today, he jogged a couple of laps so he's starting to feel a bit better and his symptoms have died down which is really good. Last night also celebrated four new inductees into the WA Hall of Fame which included Phil Cracker, Alistair Pickett, Jan Cooper and Alex Rance.